Hello everyone, this is Elias5891 here with another Katane module tutorial. This time we are going over the current version of the Logic module. This one, uh, as of recording, had recently changed, become a, a little more a little more challenging. Uh, so let's take a look at it. Uh, this is one that requires all the edge work, potentially, so let's go ahead and get that out of the way. We have one battery in one holder. We have a lit SND. Uh, we have a parallel port and two serial ports. And serial number is F05SG6. All right. So got quite a few of them on here. Um, you'll have three letters separated by either an upward pointing or a downward pointing arrow. Uh, the manual actually gives you the term for those, which I'll get to in a second. Uh, it's also always got, in each row, two letters green, one letter yellow, and the idea is to switch these to the correct version of true-false. Uh, the way we do that is, first off, we have to know a little bit about logic. Uh, and it, 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 the, the manual tells you what you need to know. Um, the up arrow is a conjunction. Uh, I also think of it as an AND. Uh, for two things joined with a conjunction to be true, both parts must be true. So if I had false and false, that's a false. If I had false and true, that's a false. True and false. That's a false. True and true, that's the only way to get a true. So that's how a conjunction works. That's the upward pointing one. You also have the downward pointing one, which is a disjunction. I think of those as ors. Whereas this one is an and, because it's only true if this and this are true. An or works the other direction. I'll use an... Oop. The keyboard. So if I change these to downward arrows, uh, it's an or. So I need either one of them to be true. It doesn't have to be both, but at least one of them has to be true. So false and false is still going to give you a false, but all these other combinations will give you a true because one part of it is true. That's the two things you're going to need to know about this conjunction, up arrow, and down arrow, disjunction, or. So let's look how this plays out. Uh, you'll also notice that on this, you've got two that are green and one that is yellow. Uh, the two that are green, as it says here, is to be treated as if it's in parentheses. So you're going to do the green part, then you're going to tack on the yellow part. For simplicity's sake, as a diffuser, I prefer to just read the green part and then the yellow part, and make that clear to my expert ahead of time. So for this one, I would say L, AND, or UP, or conjunction, but I'd probably say AND, L AND, E, or S, X, AND, A, AND, S. And that just lets them know that these parts are in parentheses, these parts are in parentheses. So, you pass the message along to your expert. You can do it this way. You can say, you know, for this one, L and E or S, L and E in parentheses, S and X and A, X and A in parentheses. It's up to you. Your methods may vary. Uh, but if we look at this one, uh, let's solve it. We have L and E. Is L and E true? L is more than two indicators, which is false. It's an AND, so if either part is false, the whole thing is false. So that's a false or S. Well, or S, we need one part to be true. This part wasn't, so let's see if this part's true. The sum of the digits in the serial number exceeds 10. Interesting. Uh, my serial number digits are 0, 5, and 6. Adds up to 11, which is greater than 10. So this part 
is true, false or true, either part makes it true. So this one's going to be true. Uh, the bottom one, x and a and s. x is exactly one indicator. That's true. And number of batteries equals number of indicators. One battery, one indicator. That's true. So that whole part here, true and true, is going to give me true. And s, and we looked up s earlier. s is also true. So we have true and true, which is going to give me a true for the bottom as well. Submit. Sounds like a lot kind of is. Let's do another one. And I'll show you some short shortcuts. Uh, for this one, K or U or B. S or no, T or P or S. Now, a convenient thing about uh, ands and ors, about conjunctions, disjunctions, is if you something conjunction something conjunction something you know a bunch of ands doesn't matter what order you do them in you need all parts to be true in the same fashion if you have a bunch of disjunctions bunch of ors you really just need any one part to be true because then it'll spread and make the whole thing true so this one uh, so for the bottom one here t or p or s Technically, I should do T or P, figure out what that gives me, or S, figure out what that gives me. Now, earlier, I said S was true. We figured out S was true. So I'm going to get T or P or true. Well, it doesn't matter what this part comes out to be. I've got or true. Well, one part of this whole thing is going to be true. So I know true is going to be my answer. Now I can solve it out. Has an MSA indicator is false. Has parallel port is true. So it's actually a false or true or true, which becomes a true or true, which is still a true. Likewise for this top part, K, U, or B. We're just looking for a true anywhere because it's going to if we get a true here, that's going to make this part true, which makes the whole thing true. Likewise, if this is a true, makes the whole parentheses true, which makes the whole statement true. If this is a true, doesn't matter what this is, something or true gives me a true. So I'm just looking for any true, because for an or, any true makes it true. K, exactly one indicator. True. We have one lit indicator or stuff. Don't care. True or something is going to be true. Uh, the same principle works with ands. So this one, R and Y and T. Or if I'm doing it the way I normally do, Y and T and R. And the Y and T part is in parentheses. I need, for the whole thing to be true, I need this part and this part to be true, which means R has to be true. For this part to be true, I need y and t to be true. So, for the and, I need all three parts to be true, or it's not going to be true, or else I'm going to be false. So why? More than five ports. Nope. That's false. Y is false. So, when we actually work this out, we're going to get false, and something, and something. False and something is going to be false because I don't have two trues. False and stuff here. Well, false and anything is false. So this one's false. Uh, bottom part, R or, or V or R or D. Again, all ors, so just look for one that's true. Uh, serial number contains vowels. No. R has a PS2 port. No. D has an FRK indicator. No. False or false or false. I don't have any trues anywhere in there to pull from, so this one stays false. Uh, we can get the... Ooh. F or F. 
Well, that'll be easy. More than one port type. That's true. So true or true or something. True. All right. Now we got different signs. This one we have to do more legitimately. S and V or U. So we need either U to be true or S and V to be true to get a true answer. Uh, U smaller. Let's do that part first. U is exactly one battery holder. Well, that's true. Anything or true gives me a true. Done. Uh, last one. Again, I read the green ones first. So E or G and W. B or L and I. There's my parenthesis part. Uh, so E or G, uh, exactly one unlit, false, two batteries or more false. So I have false and W is going to be false. Need two trues to make an and true. B or L, serial number has more letters than digits, false. L, more than two indicators, false. False and something is going to give me false. We're done. Uh, if you do miss one, it's a strike. Doesn't really give you any hints. But false or false, boom, we're done with logic. Uh, logic is interesting to look at outside of this particular module. Um, studied in college, I think it's fun. So something you may choose to look at uh, other outside of this. Uh, but that's how this logic module works. Uh, so that's it for this time. Uh, as always, if you have any comments, questions, concerns, suggestions, leave them in the comment section down below. And until next time, this has been Elias. Thank you for watching. Have fun and uh, keep your truths and faults straight. Don't blow up. Bye.